Good day guys, welcome to Rums Fish Room. Where's a good light? There's some good light. Um, so I lost a couple of koi fish. Um, it's a little bit sad. Um, uh, and it was big ones too, like over 50 centimeters. The only positive I will take from it, well not positive, no, nothing's positive about losing fish. Um, my high quality koi all survived. It was only lower quality fish that passed away. Um, and I'm going to show you why. It, it, it's a mistake made by us and I, I, I'm going to voice it just because I don't want anybody else to make the mistake and it was a, quite a simple mistake and it was something that was very easily googleable and preventable. So let's have a look. Alright guys, so when fish die, first thing I do is I bring out the test kit. Now, this has been sitting here for a couple of hours, so the colours have faded a bit, but um, you'll see here, ammonia is registering zero, um, and then the nitrates are actually, re they were registering to like below, if not five, if not below. So the water is actually perfect. Um, I'll give the water that much. So you know when you lose fish and you and the water tests good, sometimes that's disappointing because you're hoping to actually find the problem. Um, but anyway, clean those test tubes out. All right. So um, two koi actually jumped and two died. Um, generally, when koi jump, there's something wrong, and at first I thought the koi jumped because of the rain we've had. Basically when we have heavy rain what happens is the pH drops. I also tested the pH. The pH is 7 so that wasn't the issue. Um, um, but basically when they jump I can pretty much guarantee there's something wrong with the water. So then I started thinking what's changed and I'll show you over here what changed. Um, some of you probably already know this and are going to get angry at me um, basically it, it, my wife asked me if she could put aloe vera in the sump to grow and I said yes and I didn't actually know aloe vera is toxic to koi fish now it does say it's only the leaves which are toxic to koi fish but that is the only thing that's changed in the last few months on the koi pond Besides the rain, but the pH hasn't crashed, so the rain's not the issue. So I just want to put the video out there because you guys know I'm completely transparent when I make a mistake on this channel. Um, I'm not. I'm not too upset about it. It is what it is. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know, I've always wanted to be more of a bit of a not like a purist and. Um, I've wanted to sell some of the long fins and it just so happened that three of the four that I lost were long fins so um, I'm taking it as an opportunity to buy some higher quality fish that's I was at basically at my limit with stocking um, now we're we're pretty low one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, there's only, oh there's 16, there's only 16 or 17 fish in here, actually there's probably more than that because there is little babies in here, I lost a couple of the babies too, so I'm guessing the, the babies were more susceptible to the aloe vera, um, I did lose the baby, uh, like there's a baby there which is cool, so there's one there, there's one there, you guys can't see obviously so I'm just you'll have to take my word for it I think I put that one's grown heaps I think I put like five in here and I've lost three of the five maybe um I, I never expected the co the babies to last good in here I did throw um 10 centimeter fish in a pond with 50 to 6 this guy here is like 60 centimeters I know the video probably doesn't show that, um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna go with some high quality koi at the end of the day. Um, I really want to get some showa, but I definitely am not spending money on showa until I um, know that the know that the pond's good. Um, basically, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna set a pump up, and I'm gonna do like a 30, 40 percent water change on the pond. My water bill is gonna hate me, but. Um, I just want to get a good flush out. Obviously, I can't do more than 30%. It's just way too much water. For anybody who doesn't know, this is 15,000 litres. So, 30% water change on this is like 5,000 litres, pretty much. 33.333% um, water change. Um, but anyway, it's going to take me a long time to do the water change, so I better get it started. So, I would say I hope you enjoyed this video, but it's not very happy video but um i've got a i've got a fire video coming up i'm gonna put, maybe do it tomorrow um the reason i didn't post thursday is because um i was editing thursday's video and i really didn't like it like my my attitude stung I was, <laughs> not my attitude my, my perception of the video like i wasn't excited and it was an exciting video so you guys will have to wait tomorrow until that one because i'm going to refilm it and um post it again or not again post it for the first time but um yeah one th exciting thing is I'm super ex excited about um the water test on my pond like under 5 ppm nitrates like who has that and you, it reflects in the water like you can see the water's crystal clear um and it, so like that's kind of why like if I lose a koi it racks my brain because they look so healthy. There's no like red, red scales or anything. Um, the water test completely positive. I'm really, fingers crossed. It was just the aloe vera. Um, I'm pretty sure it would have been. Um, Google says it's bad for koi. So let me know if you've had a bad experience with it before as well. Um, but basically, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button down there for your chance to win a $200 Amazon gift card. Don't forget about that. 2,000 subscribers, we're getting closer. Peace out.